Hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you today about the Urban Brush Pack by Painter. And in this pack, the, we've got quite a few interesting brushes, and I apologize that some of them don't quite apply to this picture. As we all know, there's many places around the city um, that you know different things apply to. So for example, we'll be going over some paint brushes, but as you can see, this is this is a sky lit area. And so we'll do what we can with them. Um, I'd like to just say that first. Uh, so let's go over some of the brushes in this pack uh, I think are, are pretty useful for this kind of scene. Uh, first of all, we have this kind of a fun brush I just kind of wanted to start with. This is called Building. If you were by any chance sketching buildings for um, for a you know an actual illustration or maybe you wanted to illustrate over an image, I've seen people do that before, and I kind of kept that in mind when making this one. Um, you, what you do with this brush is you select kind of the hue that you want or um, maybe that you are drawing with and I'll just, you know, I'm just selecting kind of the canvas color right now and then, well I'll just do it up here, if you were to sketch some buildings, again this is kind of a fun funky brush, uh, what it does is it goes in back, back and forth between the, the, you know, between light and dark of the color that you picked and kind of just adds kind of a fun and funky depth to the picture as that you start sketching buildings. Sorry, I'm getting a little carried away here with my city already. Um, and then you can kind of use your paints on top of that, but just a fun sketch brush to, you know, start adding some really loose perspective into an image. So let's move on here. And some of these are for illustrating and some of them are for um, photo editing and or both. Uh, so let's go into garbage. This one I think is pretty useful because a lot of times in an image we have this perfectly, uh, This, if, if you notice here this is a street, um, it almost looks like water at first. And you know it's it's almost too clean uh, and so one thing that you know we all like to do is kind of muck up that uh, in the area and this what you do with this brush is you kind of just select kind of the off hue over here or you can make it that way if it's a painting and then I can kind of go over very lightly and I don't know why I just kind of tend to resize as I need and maybe even select some of that and as you can see I'm kind of dirtying up the street a little bit whether that needs to be an alleyway or you know maybe even like over here maybe some pollution you can really use it to your creative advantage um, but it's really simply garbage you know it's it's air pollution and uh, Let's go ahead into our next brush, which is kind of the opposite of air pollution. Um, I don't know about opposite, but anytime that there's a skylight or anything, you know, we have this very clean, clean light that emits from it. And sometimes we want kind of like that texture, you know, or that effect. And so this one is pretty cool because what I like to do is I just like to select, select whatever light that is, and and maybe play with the hue to where I want it. And I like to do this one on a lower opacity, so keep that in mind when using this on full opacity. It might not look good. Um, in fact, let's just go ahead and do that real fast. You can see it's like too much. But now let's go back to a lower opacity. And it's just a nice, subtle effect that we can put on our lights. Even in places like down here, that doesn't show too much. But you can kind of see what that this does. It kind of adds some a, a nice textural effect to our image. Um, let's move on to the next one here. Did we already go over gravel? I didn't go over gravel. Let's go ahead and grab that one. So this one only applies to this image so much since we all already have a street. But if you're creating an illustration or editing something and there's just not enough texture in one area, one thing you can do, let's look at this little gray spot right here because this is kind of a good example. I can offset kind of the hue of that and just kind of go over it and this just kind of adds maybe more of this texture down here to an, to a part of an image where you really need that and you're trying to get more realism or detail in part of an image. Let's go on to our next one. Spray. So these ones, you know, like I said in the beginning of this, they don't necessarily apply to this picture. I feel like I can create kind of a cool effect by going across the sky. Um, so we'll kind of do that. And and there's we've got spray, splat, and thick. And I'll start off with spray and kind of show you the different ones. These are, of course, to resemble kind of spray paint for that that urban look and feel. Um, and you know, 
this goes by opacity and you could play through play with that as that you're going on so let's do that one and you, you don't really notice what the difference is and how each one is useful until you put the other one next to it and as you can see this one is much more of a splat compared to that one maybe this one you would use for something that's farther away where if if the if the wall is up close you might want to use splat or a combination of both or thick you know you have a nice variation here to work with so that you know when you're working with spray paint on a wall or even just for an effect on something you really you really have a choice in the matter of what it might look like and what it might come off in a sense of depth um, so that kind of takes care of all three of those you see uh, they're kind of the same thing with a really good just like, again a depth variation there and then splash is very interesting because uh, you know when you when you first use it it's kind of it's kind of just this nice wavy brush but if you ever take it to some water by any chance let's pretend this sky is water I'm gonna select kind of maybe the brighter hue I'm gonna drop the opacity down a little bit and I'm gonna create kind of this this splash effect and you know maybe if it's on its own layer and you don't like this digital edge down here you can kind of tap that away and what we have now is we've got a nice little flow going here that is as you could imagine if this were in water you can kind of choose some direction and make some um, some, some some choices on how that your image flows uh, and that's pretty useful especially if you've got a beach scene and there's just a little water going off in the in the wrong direction or uh, you could probably imagine how that, that might be useful and tail light is is pretty fun and and this one was kind of tricky because sometimes we have an image like this you know we don't always have a car right there to drag a tail light off of and you can do that of course you know this is this is creativity here but one thing I, as I was experimenting with this you can actually take this and add a cool effect even in in far away scenes like there's cars going through the city and of course I'm not taking my time with this for demo purposes but this is kind of a neat way to do that and you can you know add a little more variation or saturation so that it varies because you know there are all sorts of different kind of cars but kind of a cool way to add a city effect to your image and then the last one is probably my favorite one to play with and this one is really feels like a paintbrush but what I did here was I, I made this brush so that you could, let's say I wanted to make a reflection of this building, um, is you could take this and let's say there was water here and I could tap the colors and almost start to tap what I'm looking at in here. And the more that I, the more that I go along and the more that I do, it, what, what I've made here is kind of a watery effect and you can you can kind of do more or less and color you know apply its surroundings to itself and kind of play it back and forth maybe I shouldn't have messed with that but you can kind of see how this is already just in that small area making a reflection sorry this one takes a little concentration So there you have it. As you can see, this is starting to make a little bit more of a reflection as I go on. And this really is uh, what comes with the, the essential version of this pack. There are five more brushes that um, are available if you get it for Particle Shop. Uh, so um, thank you very much for watching. I'm really excited to see what people make with this. Um, and I'll see you around the internet. Thank you.